All right, coming up next, it's a Bantamweight Championship fight between TJ Dillashaw and Demetrius Johnson. And now our tale of the tape for this Bantamweight Championship fight. Both fighters are 31. Dillashaw will have a one-inch reach advantage. We send it inside the octagon. The veteran voice is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Mario Yamasaki. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. It's time for a round for the undisputed UFC Bantamweight Championship of the World. Introducing us, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding the professional record of 27 wins, 3 losses, and 1 draw. He stands 5 feet 3 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Parkland, Washington, USA, presenting the challenger, Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson! And now we can see the champion fighting out of the right corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 17 wins, 3 losses. He stands 5 feet 6 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Denver, Colorado, USA, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, the bending, undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, TJ Dillashaw. for the championship bout. I want you guys to do a clean fight. Follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Good luck tonight. Touch gloves. This is a fight that we have been looking forward to for a long time and is about to take place right now. I'm very excited. Here we go, first round, you ready? You ready? Get all right, here we go. The UFC Bantamweight title is on the line right here, right now. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. And the fighters engage in the clinch here right out of the shoot. Johnson's got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do with it. Over underhooks here. Johnson gets double underhooks. Not good for the opposition here. And there comes the separation now. Big knee right there. Powerful right hand. Half guard. Effective punch there by Johnson. Nice combination from the half guard here. Lands with the left. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Well, missed on that one. Effective use of the jab there by Johnson. Oh, he blocked that offense, Joe. Good combination so far from both men. Oh, beautiful combination. Well, he's playing with fire here, Joe. He continues to be vulnerable to that jab by almost leaning into it right into his opponent's range. Gotta find a way to move those feet and ultimately get that head off of the center line. Well-placed kick there by Johnson. So Joe jockeying for position here in the clinch. Both fighters trying to get to a more advantageous position. Now he's got the Muay 
outside block. And the fighters now separate as the action continues. Demetrius Johnson with some body shots. Absolutely, Joe. Oh, man. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Lands the jab. Oh, that's a good knee to the body there by Johnson. Time kick connects flush. Excellent strike here, lands on target. Perfectly placed strike here, lands on. All right, here we go with round two. All right, so here we go with round two. We'll see if these fighters get after it. You saw at the beginning of round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Entertaining round, don't get me wrong, but we will see here in round two if there's an uptick in the aggression on both sides. Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson is... Oh! Big knee! Oh, he might be out. Good combination. He's got him right here. from full guard here. And Dizzy as he looks to improve position here. Stacking him. He's now working from side control again. He lands oh, a big elbow man. There. That is rough. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Trying to take the back here. Oh! He messed up and gave up his back. Three minutes to go in round two. Moves to half guard. Dillashaw's all sorts of bruised up on his body. That is gonna hurt something fierce tomorrow. He's gotta protect himself from the ground and pound, though. Now he's stacking him. Nice punch to the body. He's got him stacked here. He's got to be careful as he has him stacked here, though. He doesn't get trapped into a triangle. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Under two minutes now to go. He gets his back again. Looking for the rear naked choke. Now he's got it. He opens it up, pulls him onto his back, goes palm to palm here, and he gets out of that rear naked choke. Under a minute now to go in the round. Demetrius Johnson continues to attack the body. Look at that nasty jab. He's doing a very good job of parrying and blocking all the shots that are coming towards his head. Oh, nice. 15 seconds. Dillashaw gets tagged again. He better fix the defense here and quickly. Nice jab by Johnson. Boy, that's the end of round number two. Let's take a look at it again here. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. 
Very exciting round. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Now starting off this round, you've got to think that the barrage that he endured in that last round is still affecting him. He's going to want to start this round off and move and avoid taking any damage. Johnson gets double underhooks, Joe. One underhook here. And he's in the Muay Thai clinch. Well, no one's going to accuse him of being a headhunter here tonight. You see the stats bottom of your screen in terms of the body strikes landed, and those are really starting to pile up now. And, Joe, you got to think a lot of damage has been done as well. Whoa! Oh, he threw it right into an armbar! Phenomenal! Break the grip! Brilliant submission defense. This is intense. Now he's inside control. Excellent movement here on the ground. Oh, beautiful, beautiful right hand by the champion. Both fighters back to their feet now. And he moves to the back. There it is. Looking for the rear naked choke. He escapes the rear naked choke. Working on another choke here. Two minutes now to go in the oh, round. Oh, he lost the position. Now Johnson working on a, on a choke. He's free from the rear naked choke. Johnson trying to get his arm underneath that shin. That choke looks locked up tight. He escapes from the rear naked choke. 45 seconds remain in the round. He's going after that choke. He escaped the guillotine. Oh, well, he's been on his back here, but he's actually doing some pretty effective work. Joe lands a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done there by Johnson. And back up again. Left kick to the body. And here we see some beautiful submission offense here. Let's take a look at that from a different camera. Beautiful submission attempt. It looks good, but can't get it. All right. You ready? Let's go. Fourth round. Fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, so the championship medal of these two fighters figures to be tested beginning right now. Fourth round is underway. That means we have arrived at the championship rounds. And this is when the elite fighters, Joe, really separate themselves from the pack, from others in that top 15. Who wants it? Let's see. Oh, nice knee. Snapping off that jab. Hand speed, man. Well, so he gets clipped once again here, Joe, and he continues to be vulnerable by leaning in. He's keeping his head on the center line. He's got to change things up a little bit here. How about that shin? Huge block there. He caught that one right on the knee. That could have hurt. Dillashaw with one hook. 
Well, he has landed some good shots tonight, Joe, but as yet, he has been unable to string together any solid combinations, and that has served to keep his opponent in this fight. So let's see if he can change up the tempo a little bit with his strikes and try to put together a combination that is more damaging to his opponent. Man. You can tell that shot hurt him bad in the body. Oh! He's in Beautiful timing and execution for a knockout blow. Yeah, Joe, just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. Check it out here. I mean, just stiff. And there is our UFC Bantamweight champion proving tonight that he can get the job done and also get it done with style points as he gets the win by knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 13 seconds of round number four. He's playing the winner by knockout. been talking about those two words throughout fight week and new UFC champion. He completes the mission here tonight and you can see the emotion spilling over. Absolutely incredible what this fighter was able to accomplish and it is going to take a special performance to dethrone the new UFC champion of the world.